Hi guys, welcome to the short video about how to make sure that a link is 100% safe to click on. So usually you get such emails sometimes once a day, sometimes a couple of the times a day. They look really good, maybe promising and they say, yeah, you received an invitation from whatsoever, Bank of America, Chase, uh, Exchange, uh, Coca-Cola, whatsoever. And they say, yeah, you have been chosen to be one of uh, the first um, people to use that, or you have won something, your uh, credit score went up, please check. And so you get so many mails per day and you are tempted then to click like here accept invitation because you think yeah okay maybe i know that yeah maybe i have even an account there yeah okay should be good uh, let's click on that so i highly recommend not to do that because what you can see when you hover over the thing without clicking you can see at the bottom it will show you the url and at a lot of times you cannot read the url it is some cryptographic thing which is almost endless and it is because they are running campaigns they want to track who is clicking where and why and when and yeah and so on so uh, like a couple of years or decades ago it was like when you clicked on that you got to a normal link like bankofamerica.com and then login or whatsoever so here you can't when you hover on that you get no clear url and it is very unsafe to just click on that so here are my recommendation what to do in such a moment if you know the website maybe you have already an account just go there and type the url like www.bankofamerica.com and then you can log in maybe you also using a password manager and the password manager make sure that you did not uh, type the url wrong so that's a good advice actually to use a password manager because they double check if you type the url right so if you don't know the website and maybe i mean that could be something that you here in this case you have an account on kucoin and you could say okay let's check on that uh, go to KuCoin, log in and to find what's here exclusive and so on and then you log in and you think there should be there something and usually that's there and if it's not there hmm, that's a little bit strange but I mean of course uh, then there's also the chance that's maybe a different website I mean same company but they're using a different website and here that's also this exactly this is the case here I mean before we go there there's a, a little bit more explanation here why we won't click on that so usually there are two different threats the first thing is that we, when we click on that you could catch a virus throwing throwing horse bad malware whatsoever the second thing is that it's maybe a phishing uh, link which then leads you to a website called www.bank of or bank america like and they are just leaving out the off and they create their own website which looks like bank of america you think oh that's my account i mean that's a website and you put everything there like your user id and password and everything and then they record everything and they log in with your credentials to bank of america and they steal your money so something like that and these are the main two threats i would say i mean there are of, of course there are other things but these are the main two threats which we have to avoid so if you don't know the thing i mean even when you don't when you know the uh, company but maybe the url i mean when you logged into your account they didn't show anything so maybe then you can google for that uh, here I googled for KuCoin Play Beta and it showed some things like uh, here Reddit. Reddit is always a good source but it's also not 100% safe but it could give you some indications. Then we have also something here 
and that's on the website which I know and they say something about KuCoin Play platform beta release whatever it is I have no idea what it, what it is but I mean here on Google you get some idea what it could be but still it's not 100% safe because a lot of scammers they are running their own ad campaigns and of course when you google for that you will find it on top and you will think okay it's safe it's coming from google and we click on that and it's actually not safe so you have to also be very careful google is not like uh, scanning these websites and what i show you here is just what i think it could be good but they don't know it for sure so when you just try around a little bit and you're not sure where you're going and if the sites are safe then it's always a good thing to install McAfee site advisor I mean I have been using that since many 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 years and it helped me a lot and prevented me from going to bad websites and I also recommend that but uh, a lot of people are complaining that it comes with their own package of like strange things or uh, adware and it's difficult at the end to get rid of because it's re reinstalling and you can also install it as a chrome add-on so but anyway i mean i i recommend to use it but there are different opinions on that so what's also very safe and highly recommend from my side is sandboxy.com you can download this software i would say it is free and it's safe to use it's a sandbox you, you can run everything in a sandbox i mean that's an isolated area on your computer and you of course you can run your browser in this area and it should be safe so the no program can ex actually then access your other files on your computer and launch a virus or whatsoever so it is very 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 safe and you can also uh, invoke here your gmail account like normal you can read emails and then you should be able to click on something and you should not catch a virus or trojan horse or whatsoever but you have to be careful of course because it does not prevent against phishing so uh, if somebody wants to uh, scam you to a website which looks looks like similar to a one which you know like uh, Bank of America and they have a website like Bank America and then you they want to you uh, that, that you enter your uh, username and password and everything so this cannot prevent something like that so you so you have to be really really careful but of course the McAfee site advisor should warn you uh, about something like that and there are of course a lot of other good tips and tricks on the internet but when you google for that you have to also be careful not to install another virus or whatsoever here i find found a site i think cnet.com is usually quite reliable and here they have a few solutions for you uh, Google safe browser browsing diagnostic site you can enter your site and it will they will check if they have hosted malware in the last 90 days then of course Norton safe web and AVG link scanner and other things so there are of course a lot of options and uh, probably nothing 100% safe and it is definitely worse to be always really careful about everything don't do such things when you do research about new websites or you want to click on just any link or in an email it's usually then when it happens when you are in a rush so be very careful about that so unfortunately it looks like there is no super easy covers 100 percent uh, everything solution here but i hope i have been able to show you a couple of things and yeah if you have found something better 
uh, easier way more reliable way would be really interesting to learn from you and yeah please put down everything into the feedback area i'm always happy to learn new stuff and if you have any questions also put anything to the feedback area i'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching and see you next time